Hello everyone, I'm Peter Conlon from Total Products and in this segment I want to do the chemistry of foam, of chemically what's happening here. This is the Perfil 1G, it's polyurethane resin under pressure. So what's the key components are can temperature. I want you to get this can temperature at room temperature above when you're foaming. So if you're foaming on a cold day, throw the system in the front seat of your truck, warm up the can of foam, get it up to room temperature. What happens at room temperature is when you pull the trigger, the propellant boils blowing up the polyurethane resin and you get 12 gallons of cured foam out of this can. If you foam a very cold can, it's going to foam slower and darker yellow. If you see that, stop, warm the can up and then start foaming. So can temperature is very important. The next key component is moisture, polyurethane resin. This comes out like a shaving cream and then chemically will grab the moisture out of the air. So now it comes out like a shaving cream as you can see. It's going to grab the moisture out of the air and then cure. So it needs moisture to cure. In bead form, you should be fine. But if you're going to do a large cross section, I need you to provide it with a little bit of moisture. So if I was filling this plastic cup, I'd spritz it once and then foam. And now what I'm doing is I'm giving it moisture down in the bottom of the cup and at the top of the cup it's going to get the moisture out of the air and this will full cross-sectional cure. Here's a simple test to show you what I mean. I took two clear plastic bags. This one I foamed, zipped up the bag as fast as I could, no moisture and you can see it's moisture starved. It breaks down to its resin state. This one, same thing, grabbed the plastic bag, spritzed it with water, foamed in here, fully cured. So it only needs an ounce of water, but moisture has to be present when you're foaming large cross sections. So that's why it needs moisture. When you foam, I need you to shake the can and that mixes up the resins and the propellants. So those are the key components. Can temperature, provide it with moisture, and shake the can. In, in storage and when you're not using it, always leave a can on the gun. No moisture can get into the system and now you're always ready to go. Thank you very much.